Sailor Moon was an odd series for me. I watched the first half of it nearly four years ago and just decided to finish it this week. The series is not easy to critique. I could complain about how bad the animation is at times, but I could let that slide seeing as it was the early 90s and every long-running anime at the time had lackluster animation. I could talk about how much animation was reused and how long the transformation sequences were, but I enjoyed the visuals and even grew to like the minute long transformations. Sailor Moon was just what I needed at a time in my childhood when the only other animes I had seen were action-oriented. The series had romance, mystery, fighting, and atop it off had great visuals. That being said, the series is extremely overrated, and besides it being one of the first mainstream magical girl animes, it's hard to see why it's so special. So nostalgia aside, is Sailor Moon any good? The Uncut series is comprised of over 200 episodes, which is divided into 5 seasons. Sailor Moon Classic, Sailor Moon R, Super, Supers, and Sailor Stars. Each arc is standalone and has their own stories and villains. These seasons are either loved or hated, some more than others. In this retrospect, I'm going to cover the series as a whole. The main character is Usagi Tsukino, a clumsy 14-year-old girl who isn't good at much. She's approached by a talking cat named Luna, who tells her she is Sailor Moon, guardian of love and justice. Her mission is to gather the four other sailor soldiers to search for their moon princess. Along the way, she meets Sailor Mercury, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, and the mysterious Tuxedo Mask. In a bizarre turn of events, it turns out Usagi, otherwise known as Sailor Moon, is the same moon princess as they've been searching for, and that tuxedo mask was the prince of earth she was in love with in her past life. Blah blah blah, the next season begins. Blah blah blah, her daughter arrives from the future. Blah blah blah, she's a sailor soldier too. Blah blah blah, there's really other cool sailor soldiers who are more powerful than the ones we know. Blah blah blah, there's a pegasus who can read into other people's dreams. Blah blah blah, there are even more sailor soldiers. But this time they're dudes, and there's a sailor soldier who wants to take over the galaxy. Oh no! In the end, the anime and manga of Sailor Moon differ drastically story-wise. I'm going to be focusing on the anime, mostly because I've only read bits and pieces of the manga, and to review that would be unfair to it. The anime story is essentially a run-of-the-mill typical anime. The main character is more important than she seems, and has to take down the bad guy's minions one by one. But let's not forget the dozens of filler episodes with the same exact storyline each time. I mean, seriously, this series has more filler than it does story, and sure, the story is okay and even good at times, but it's definitely not worth the hours of filler you've got to sit through to get to it. The characters are a bit lacking too. I mean, sure, they're all cute, but are they interesting? Debatable. As the series progresses, the characters lose any sense of character they once had, essentially becoming background props for Sailor Moon in the story. I do like, I do kind of like Tuxedo Mask, otherwise known as Mamoru Chiba. In early seasons, he's kind of a jackass and is relevant to the plot for like a second, and then he's doomed to the same fate as the Sailor Soldiers, and becomes a bland boyfriend for Usagi to have relationship drama with. Although I complain about how the series progressively gets blander and blander, I have to say, its final season, Sailor Stars, is one of the stronger points in the series. The first half has virtually no filler, and gave time to each character that needed it. Sure, it falls in the same pattern that other arcs do, but regardless, it's still one of the best enjoyable points of the series. The second half still has filler, but has an awesome storyline. So, essentially, there is this intergalactic sailor soldier, Sailor Galaxia, who wants to rule the galaxy, so she goes around killing a bunch of sailor soldiers in her path. And when that happens, the princess of a faraway planet escapes to Earth with her three guardians, but they get separated along the way, and they are searching for her. There's also a new love interest introduced, and man, it was just so good! I feel that if the other arcs had this little filler, it could have been a lot better. One of the more difficult aspects to talk about is the art style and animation. The animation in Sailor Moon is definitely limited. So much animation is reused, and every five seconds we receive stock footage for either a transformation or an attack. 
I mean, they look nice, but they get old quick. The animation has its high points and its low points, but overall it really isn't anything special. The art style is unique. It has a tendency to be inconsistent, and boy does it show. Sometimes the art is gorgeous. Other times it's awful. I do have one compliment, and that's the character designs. There's probably not one character design in the series that I hate. They're all so cool and well designed. So just like the animation, the art is nice, but can be mediocre at times. Overall, Sailor Moon is one of the most influential animated series of all time. It ran for 200 episodes and had memorable characters and visuals. That said, the series is immensely overrated. The animation and story is for the most part mediocre. The filler to story ratio is outrageous, and the characters lose any interesting traits as the series progresses. Would I recommend Sailor Moon to a friend? Maybe, depending on what they want to get from it. If you're looking for a strong story, definitely not. If you want to watch a landmark in animation, yes. If you're willing to sit through the filler, then watch it. The plot progressing episodes are interesting and rewarding to get to. The series is nowhere near as great as it's hyped up to be, but it's still one of the biggest anime of all time.